Hello everybody, Drifty here from Driftwood Gaming, and in this special request RPG Maker MV tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make an invisibility skill. This is a special request from Clitvin from the RPG Maker web um, forums, and he specified uh, simply a skill that turns you invisible for three turns. So I've made a skill that uh, actually does different things. This skill is going to uh, give you 50% evasion and 50% magic evasion for three turns and uh, also change your your battler image and uh, apply it in invisibility state. So as my third turn uh, took place, the state wore off and the invisibility wore off. So. I guess I don't have to focus on <laughs> Let me show you how I did that. It's actually pretty simple, um, but to start off, what you're going to want to do is download uh, Yanfly Engine's uh, base troop events, and then take note of the number here. I think default is one, because that that'll save you a whole lot of trouble. You'll only have to make the, the troop events one time, and then it'll just pro proliferate through all of them. I'll put a link in the description for that, so you guys can just get that real quick. Um, first thing you want to do, though, is make a state. <clears throat> Excuse me. So you're going to make an invisibility state. Call it invisible or invisibility or whatever you like. Give it a name, an icon. Um, you're going to set remove at the at battle end, and you're going to set uh, turn end and three turns. Uh, for the traits, you're going to use uh, Magic Evasion and Evasion, 50%. They're on the parameters, extra parameters. But you could really do whatever you want right here. That's just what I thought it should have done. Uh, then you're going to have to go to your common events and create a common event. Uh, so the first thing you're going to do in your common events uh, is change actor images. That's on tab 3. And that's at the bottom here. Change actor images. Uh, in order to get the invisible image, what you want to do is... Uh, Open up Photoshop. If you don't have Photoshop, you can download GIMP for free. I'll put a link in the description below where you can get that. And basically, we're going to uh, load up uh, by opening um, an IMG a SV actors of your project folder, uh, the actor that you want to give invisibility to. And then you're just going to apply a filter to that. So I've selected the Conte crayon, but there's several in here that would work for invisibility. And then once you've applied the filter, you're going to save it as. Remember, remember, don't save it because it will overwrite it. Uh, just save as a PNG file and then give it an affix, like invis, an affix. And I've already done that, so I don't need to do that again. But once you have that image uh, on change actor images, uh, you would just change the battler image. So when you select your actor, it'll load up the database defaults for that uh, character or actor. And then you would just double click on the, the battler and select the one we saved as uh, invis, and that'll work for that. Then you're going to control a switch, and you're going to, so let's right click, insert new tab one, control switches. Create a new switch, call it an uh, invisibility or transparent or whatever you like, and turn that switch on. Then you're going to control variables. Uh, it's right in the, uh, in the same spot, control variables. Create a new variable and uh, set that to 6 to 15. Any Anything in between there will be... Uh, will be good because I, the way that this is set up it'll count all the turns I think even enemy turns so if it was set to six I think within one turn it might wear off if you're fighting eight things I need to test that some more but you guys can uh, have fun with playing with the numbers basically this number will dictate how long you stay in that invisible state um, that's just graphics though um, you're going to be in invisible state for three turns for sure, but the graphic will change depending on that number. So then you're going to create a skill, uh, call it invisibility or whatever you like, give it a name, an icon, a description, uh, and then uh, you would give it any other specific things that you would like for your game. I just gave it certain hit and uh, a custom, I didn't actually give it an animation, but I'll probably make an animation for that. And then you're going to call on that common event that you created. And then you're going to add the state underneath that uh, invisible at 100%. So once you've done that, um, you have to go and do one more thing. Go to your troops and uh, on the, the number that was in your base troops events, uh, we'll go to that troop. 
and then on the conditions you're going to select that switch that we created in the common events and then for the span you're going to go turn the first thing you're going to do in this battle event is uh, control variables so right click uh, insert new control variables select that variable that we created and have it subtract one so basically you're just going to set the operation to sub and then say one and then you're going to do a conditional branch underneath that the conditional branch is going to say if this variable is uh, less than or equals to, and it looks like that, uh, zero, then do this. And what we have set for this is to just revert the invisibility back. So you just change actor images again on tab three, select the actor you want, and select the default uh, images. And then you're going to hit OK and save your game, and you're set. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, continue to like, favor, share, and subscribe if you like this content. Um, if you have a suggestion or a, a comment, uh, if you have any spe special requests, leave them in the comments below. Um, you guys are awesome. I have a page full of stuff to do here. Thank you guys for giving me all these great ideas, and I will get to them as soon as I can. I mean, it's a lot here, so uh, don't feel like you won't be heard if, if I don't uh, get your tutorial made right off the bat you know as as this channel is growing I'm getting more uh, more requests which is really great and I don't always do them in the order I receive them I kind of put them uh, whatever I can get out kind of the quickest is to show you guys and keep content coming but you guys are awesome thank you so much for watching I appreciate each and every one of you continue to keep uh, watching and making your suggestions and we'll see you in the next tutorial